Hello, what we are going to do today is to break apart the combination lock of our luggage bag. The handle is attached to the combination lock by a steel rivet. We use a drill to break the head of one end of the rivet. This is how the rivet looks like. We remove the handle. We now proceed to unscrew the metal piece behind the combination lock. This is a spring. Now we get to the dials of the combination lock. So do you see this notch? There are three notches, they have to be aligned. Once they are aligned, you can push this metal piece here so that you can change to a new combination of numbers. So the combination lock works by uh, when we align the three notches that correspond to the correct combination of numbers, you are able to push the pin through, meaning you are able to open the combination lock. So now we just push this metal piece, we change the combination of numbers to a new set of our preference. And how this combination lock works is that there is a metal part there, if you can see. This metal part will sort of hook below the plastic piece that we dismantled earlier. When you have the correct combination, this part can move up and down, up and down, and you are able to open the combination lock. But if you change to a different set of digits, you get the wrong combination, it will remain stuck there, and you are unable to open the combination lock. So that is basically how the combination lock works. So now we will change to a new set of numbers of our preference, and this is how the combination lock works. It's pretty easy. So now we have a new combination and uh, all is good. What we need to do now is to put everything back together. The combination lock, the plastic part, don't forget the spring, and the top up is the metal piece. So put that all together and you just screw it back into place. We put everything back exactly according to a uh, reverse order. Uh, the dial goes in first and then the plastic piece. And uh, what's difficult here is to get it uh, properly put in into the slots and then the metal piece and then you just screw it back with the two screws. And don't forget the metal be wet. Thank you for watching.